Okay, we were going to buy a little spin washer because the place that we're renting doesn't have a, a spin, doesn't have no wash machine or dryer, which you don't need a dryer here. But anyway, we just paid less than $8 to have our laundry done at Mr. Jeff's and they delivered it. And this is what they brought us back. That's a fair bit of laundry. Like that's a big garbage bag full for under $8 washed and delivered. You can't beat that. So I don't think we're going to buy a wash machine. <laughs> I think we'll just pay Mr. Jeff $8 to do our laundry for us. How sweet is that? This is a tiny little dog park. I haven't done a video in here yet, so I thought I'd make one. I'll smash it together with some other videos. This will just be short, guys. I hope everyone's having a blessed day today. It's uh, hot and humid, <laughs> like always. It's, it's always just hot and humid here. <laughs> we haven't had too much rain. I think we've had a little, we had a little bit in the evening, but I don't think it's rained too much at all. You just see how lush everything is. Except for the brown spots over here. We were actually done in here. He wanted to leave, but <laughs> we made him come in here to uh, <laughs> do another little video. Oh, I like those chairs. Those are cool. Nice. So this is the other side of the complex where we live. Oh, look, he found a little friend there. Look at that. <laughs> you can get right in there. Okay, come on. Get him out of there. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he just wanted to go right in there. Okay, come on. <laughs> he's got to do his little hind kick thing there. Oh, he's doing the same thing now. <laughs> uh, too cute. Yeah, like I said, everybody here has dogs. <laughs> Some have two. So. so it's 9.30 this morning. I kind of slept in today. I didn't get up till after 7, so... Must have needed it, but we stayed up late last night waiting for the landlord to come bring us our bill so we could go finish up our temporary residency. So we had to have a utility bill, even though it's not in our name. So what happens here in most places when you're renting is the utility bill will stay in the landlord's name and then they just bring it to you and you, you pay the bill. So we seen the bill was a thousand pesos for a month so that's not very much like 30 40 bucks or something for the power so that was the previous month so we'll see what how we do but already we've been really good with the uh with the the air, air conditioning we've kept we've got it up to like 27 already so we're climatized i think so we first got here we we're putting it out like 21 22 and now jen's been keeping it about 27 26 so, but in the bedroom at night, we put it to 22. We like it a little bit cooler when we're sleeping, so. 
So yeah, and right now it's off. We've been keeping it off too a lot of times in the daytime now, so. So that's it, that's a little tiny dog park and then it, you enter through the car park here. So these, this side's apartments here on this side and ours is uh, townhouses on the other side. And some of them are apartments too, but. See, they've got their Day of the Dead decorations out already. Well, it's coming this weekend, Day of the Dead. So yeah, that's it. Peace out. Hey guys, I just wanted to add, you know, me and Jen, we've been here for two weeks now. Two weeks today, actually. And, uh, you know, things haven't been perfect by any means. And uh, things have not been easy at all times. You know, we struggle with the language. It's uh, hard to navigate yourself away around a new country when you don't speak the language. So, you know, I encourage anybody who's going to move abroad to any country that's a different language and the way you speak, I encourage you to learn the language before you go, <laughs> or at least start anyway. I mean, we absolutely did for sure, and like I said before previous, you know, Jen does speak a little bit of Spanish, and she uh, she reads it even better, but we still struggle, you know. We, uh, we've we been using Microsoft Translate. That seems to be work the best, and uh, we were fortunate enough, we found a Diddy driver who speaks a little bit of English, so... I encourage you, if you are living abroad, you know, get to know the locals and, you know, we asked for this driver, his phone number, and he was more than happy to give it to us and we've been contacting him through uh, WhatsApp. Everybody uses WhatsApp in Mexico. So, you'll definitely have to download that before you come, <laughs> it's, or when you get here, because it's uh, pretty much a must. And, uh, yeah, so we, we got his phone number and we've been using him privately to come pick us up and take us around and he's been generous enough to do some translating for us. We bought some stuff from uh, Cherawi and uh, some dishes and they were broken. He helped us uh, return them and translated. We went to uh, Office Depot and Jen got set up with some furniture and an office chair. Uh, sitting at the, the chair at the kitchen chair is not gonna cut it. <laughs> so she went and bought, we went and bought her an office chair and a desk for our, our townhouse and uh, yeah, he, he come in and, and helped us translate and a real nice guy. So that's kind of a little trick that you could do, you know, is uh, if the Diddy driver or, or Uber, they use Diddy here as well as Uber. It's, if you're not familiar with Diddy, it's, it's exactly like Uber. So, you know, with an app on your phone. But anyway, yeah, you know, you can ask for the Uber driver or Diddy driver's phone number if you don't have a vehicle. And uh, they're usually most more than happy to accommodate you. And uh, we were lucky enough that this driver, he lived in the U.S. for four years, five years or so, and he spoke, his English was actually pretty good. So, you know, and he's been helping us out quite a bit, and we've had other people help us. People have been really friendly and accommodating here. You know, they, they know that you're a foreigner and don't speak the language, and for the most part, they're pretty accommodating and understanding, and uh, we've been getting by. Like you said, it hasn't been easy, that's for sure. You know, there's been some stressful days, and days that aren't perfect you know it's 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 nice out for sure the weather is good sun shining but uh when you're communicating with people in a different language it gets to be a little bit frustrating and uh kind of wears on the nerves a little bit but you know take a deep breath and uh you know you get further with honey than you do with salt right <laughs> so yeah we definitely been uh been learning that's for sure so so yeah, I just wanted to hop in here and just uh, give that little tidbit of information. I'm going to smash these videos together with some more. i got a few short ones I'm making here. So anyway, I hope everybody has a blessed day and uh, stay healthy and stay strong. Peace out. So we have all the requirements now to finish up our uh, residency. We just uh, sent off the information to uh, a company that helps with that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get that information sent off, which we did yesterday. And we're hoping by next week we're going to head to the to immigration and uh, get that taken care of. And then uh, as soon as we get our residency, which I'm hoping sometime next week, we'll be going there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, start looking for a car. Well, I've already been looking, but... Uh, 
we need to get some transportation here. We're not in the city, as I've said. We're 10 minutes out of the city, so there's not. There's a little store close by, which is in walking distance, and there's a Mr. Jeff, a laundry place, which I got a video about that, which is pretty cheap, so I don't think we'll be buying a, a washer anytime soon. We'll just use that service. And, uh, yeah, they deliver and, and uh, pick up, so... So yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend about $6,000 Canadian on a car as my budget. I don't want anything too fancy, but I don't, I need something that's fairly reliable. And something small and compact. We're just gonna get a small little car, cheap little car. Main thing is, as long as the air conditioning works. <laughs> so the weather's been pretty nice since we've been here. It hasn't rained too terribly much. So we're very grateful for that. It's uh, very hot and humid every day, so uh, yeah, so we're going to be working on getting a car pretty soon. And like I said, I'm just, I think I'm just going to use uh, Facebook Marketplace, so I'll just buy off of there. I'm just sitting outside here. I just come back from the gym and had a little dip in the pool, kind of my daily routine now, going on day eight of that. I think today's my eighth day. Yeah, today's my eighth day of the gym and the pool, so I go to the gym for an hour. Then about 20 minutes in the pool, do a little stretching and whatnot. So yeah, so I'm just sitting outside here. Uh, Jen's working in the house there, so kind of leave her blown a bit. <laughs> so anyway, peace out, guys. I have a couple of questions I wanted to ask you guys for the ones that are following us here closely on our channel. Uh, well, for everybody, even if you're not subscribed, whatever. Uh, please comment and like the videos if, if you do like the videos if you dislike them then dislike it just be honest You know, we're all about honesty here. No hard feelings to anybody um, You know we take uh, good criticism and and uh, compliments just as all the same <laughs> And I value your guys's opinion good or bad. Uh, I just had a question. Is anybody? Uh, offended by our YouTube channel name the gringo word um, We did get a comment a while ago. We didn't uh, there was only one person who commented about our, our YouTube channel name and didn't think that it was uh, I don't know if you necessarily thought it was inappropriate but anyway regardless um, we don't mean any offense by anybody uh, we're obviously from Canada we just like the name I just wondering if you if you do have any comments towards it let us let us know and also what do you think of the smash up videos like where I just put three or four videos together or five or six whatever I have personally I kind of like those because they're just a little clips here and there what I'm thinking at the time and whatnot you know and uh, I we our channels not nothing fancy we don't edit our videos too terribly much we don't do five six takes you know like one clip we're pretty raw here what you see is what you get nothing fancy uh, I think it's more real you know uh, we're, we're not trying to be fake or try, trying to be pretend to be someone we're not you know, I I make grammar mistakes. Uh, my spelling is just terrible. <laughs> so, thank God for Google. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I was wondering what you thought about the channel name, the gringo with the word gringo, and the smash up videos. Let me know in the comments. And like I say, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, whatever. Who cares? It's all good, man. Peace out, man. So, me and Jen have a deal right now where I'm doing all the cooking and cleaning and looking after the townhouse so pretty much everything and uh, Jen's just gonna work and I'll look after everything else we'll still go out and do the shopping together because we do like to, to do that together some days but most uh, most I should say most days we'll go together some days we'll maybe she's gone out once by herself and I think Saturday I'm gonna go out by myself and do the shopping and uh, that way I get what I want when it comes to groceries <laughs> So, so far it's been working out pretty good. Uh, like I say I've been doing all the cooking, cleaning, make her cappuccino in the morning. We now got a, went and bought a cappuccino machine, makes cappuccinos and lattes and, and uh, espressos. I mean, we, uh, we like that. So, we, had, we did buy a cheap coffee pot, but uh, we'll just, we put that away now. I didn't buy a really expensive one, you know, a, 250 bucks Canadian I think it was so that so far it seems to be working pretty good so anyway I look after Jen doing all that and uh, the laundry obviously now we're getting that done so 
But uh, I think I'll just leave her to make the bed, and that'll be it. <laughs> she likes to make the bed every morning, so that's no big deal. But as far as the cleaning and cooking, I'm going to look after all that. And so far, it's working out pretty good, so and she seems pretty happy. So that's the main thing. Happy wife, happy life. Right, guys? <laughs> God bless. Hola, amigos. So, sorry about the dark picture there. I don't know if we get any better. See if I turn and get it a little better here. <clears throat> anyway, that's a little better. Anyway, so I just want to talk about our uh, cell phone here. So we, were, I was going to buy a phone, but we, did, I'm not, I don't have my my temporary residency fully completed yet. We've only got half the process done, so I was un, unable to buy one at the time. Sign up for a contract, basically. I could buy a phone, but I can't get a contract right now. So, so anyway. Uh, yeah, so what we got and did is we got a chip for our phone. Hola amigos. Uh, so I just want to talk about our experience with the cell phone here. I was going to buy a phone, but uh, I don't have my, my temporary residency complete yet. We've only got half the process done, so I wasn't able to... Uh, well, I shouldn't say I could buy a phone, no problem, but I wasn't able to uh, sign up to a contract to, to get a phone. So. You could buy a phone and then just buy a chip and put it in, but what I just went and did and I just bought a chip for my phone. It's pretty cheap actually, so what we did is, uh, I got it written down here because I can't remember. I'm old, excuse me. <laughs> so I bought uh, the chip was uh, 280 pesos, so it was uh, 80 pesos for the chip, which is around $5 Canadian, and then 200 pesos to load the chip, which is $17. So that's a one-time fee, the load part, or the, the chip part. So next time I go, I'll just have to pay the 200 pesos, and that gives me three gigs, and it's good for one month. Now, if I run out, I can just go buy another chip, and it'll be good for another month. So I had five gigs back home on Canada, in Canada, and I never ran out. So I'm gonna try three gigs here, and we'll see how it goes. I mostly hooked up to Wi-Fi everywhere I go, so I think uh, three gigs will be sufficient for me for now. Anyway, at home, obviously, I'm on Wi-Fi, so and now we're out on the road doing stuff. I'm not watching YouTube videos or too much anyway, so we're busy doing stuff. So I think three good gigs will be more than sufficient. You just have to remember that whatever you buy is going to expire. So if you don't use that all, the whole three gigs, well, then you've lost it. So. But well, you can get a lower, uh, lower amount. You can get up to as low as 500 megabytes, right, if you want. So, depending on what you want. It's pretty cheap, right? Like I said, 200, 200 pesos, $17. So, that's my cell phone bill. <laughs> 17 bucks for the month for three gigs of data. Like, you can't beat that. Anyway, and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that little information about the phone. And uh, we're going to go and uh, make some lunch here. Well, sorry. I'm going to make some lunch. Jennifer's uh, busy working over there. <laughs> and the dog, well, he's laying on the chair beside her. So, anyway, peace out, guys. God bless everybody.